Right, research out this week shows that women taking the progesterone-only contraceptive pill or any other type of hormonal contraception increase their risk of breast cancer by 25%. It's important, I'm going to stress that, just that no one gets confused, it increases the risk of breast cancer by 25%. Experts have stressed the overall risk of breast cancer in young women is very low, but it did get us thinking, if you knew what you know now, would you still take the pill? Nadia, I'll start with you first. Well, I just think it's really sad that we haven't really moved on. That, I mean, the pill was an amazing thing. I loved it. I was on it for 10 years. When I came off it, I felt a million times better, I have to say, but it's, it was incredible. And at the time that it came, so important. But it's frustrating that we don't, we're not moving on because we know there's risks with it. Now, I did the pill for 10 years, then I did the contraceptive sponge. See, I've never heard of yeah, that don't one before. <sighs> that, that was not good. Um, <laughs> then I did the um, diaphragm. Do you the remember cap, that? The cap. The cap. And I had to fill it with spermicide, you had to bend it, you had to da -da -da, you had to let go of it at just the right time, you had to pop round your cervix. And you try doing that when you've had a couple of glasses of Chardonnay. <laughs> Nine times out of ten, it would end up over the other side of the room. <laughs> Especially if you were enthusiastic. You know, like, like those <laughs> children's tents. <laughs> Yeah. You know those children's tents that's, where you unfold it and it, goes, it pops up? That, that's what it's it like was like. That's what it was like. It's yeah. like a trapezium. Yeah. <laughs> the femidom, the condom, the... Um, I've tried them all. And what? then I what did... The coil? The coil. Now, the coil, this is what makes me so angry. If you got a man's doodah and you said, OK, we're going to take this long... We're going to take this piece of copper wire with, like, plastic bits like this. We're going to squeeze it together and then we're going to put it right the up in the, the middle. the men in the audience like... <laughs> right up the middle with somebody you've never seen before on a bed with no anaesthetic, not even so much as a cup of tea, and then we're just going to ping it through. Yeah. And th we would not still be having this with no kind of anaesthetic or anything. When I had my first call put in, and I loved the call, don't get me wrong, gave me free sex for years, I didn't have to worry about getting pregnant. But when it went in, the pain was absolutely horrendous. And then for days, I was, I was on the sofa yeah, like, like this, yeah. the pain was so bad. And then when it was taken out, it, it, was, it was just as bad. And uh, it, it feels medieval. Our, our contraception feels medieval. Yeah. It's it like so many things, there is just not enough money put into research for female anything health. Yeah. And yeah. so it's time, guys. Yeah. No, I, I remember I had, a, I, I had a similar experience when I came off the pill, so I was in the pill in my 20s. Because at school, they didn't tell us anything else. No. They didn't talk about any other options. It was just the pill that they spoke about. And I went on it and I put on so much weight. Um, it, it coincided with me doing a lot of shift work and I don't think emotionally it helped with that because of all the hormones. And then when I finally came off it, it was like a cloud was lifting. Mm, wow. um, and I never went on it again after that. So I was like, I'm not putting my body through that again. Mm. But uh, and I've tried the implant. My body didn't agree oh, with that. that? Mm. at all. So I did it once and didn't do it again um, because it, it, I just bled constantly for, like, mm. seven months, I think. Um, and then I did the coil. And, actually, I didn't have the... A set, the coil going in didn't hurt as much for me going in, mm. but I did have that sort of cramping pain. Um, but, yeah, you know, when you have people that know what they're doing, I think it's not quite so bad. I, th I think I would say, if you're having a coil, ask the person how many times they've done it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. But then how do they learn, I suppose? Well, learn someone else. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Selfish, selfish, yeah. I know, but... Don't <laughs> learn on me. I don't you know. I, mean, I learn I, on... I, I, yeah, it... The, as you say, the pill, you know, when it was, what, what back in the 60s, was so liberating yeah. for women and such an amazing thing. But I was always aware that it was not a good option for people that had a high risk of breast cancer in their family history. Right. And I, I sometimes wonder, you know, the headlines are always like, and you look at that and you think, oh, my word, whoever takes it, the, the mm. risk is going to go up by 25%. But actually, it says here, so it, it's to do... Your risk increases by 25% of what your risk was before yes. wow. you used the pill. So say your risk was 1 in 1,000, then your risk then becomes 1.25 mm. in 1,000. So just to sort of put it mm. into perspective. Mm. Yeah. But um, I think the thing is as well, Jane, you know, do you remember at the time when with the AstraZeneca and the clot worries and everyone was up in arms, quite rightly, about how many people, not just AstraZeneca, Pfizer as well, 
that one in however many was getting were, were having a clot. Mm. Well, the figures for that were so much higher with the pill. And they, they really, there was a movement oh. that tried to get going online with women saying, we we yeah. face this risk every time we look at we look at the side effects on our pill, and nobody's ever questioned this or talked yeah. about this. Or that's that what was, it feels like. Anyway, what's what's, what's happened to the male pill? That's, oh, the minute. Well, the male pill. Why <laughs> they stopped? the research into that, I've always thought, because this is what we were led to believe, that the men didn't like the side effects, and we all have had a laugh on this over the last 20 years on these women. Oh, they didn't, they felt a bit low in their mood, and sometimes they felt a bit itchy. <laughs> and we were like, oh, really? God, this must be just terrible. And we we laughed our heads off. I was listening to this podcast the other day, that's not the case. The men were completely committed to those trials with that contraceptive pill, and it was showing excellent results. But the but they weren't allow everything side effects has to has to be about what the risk is to the patient and because the man has no risk if he gets pregnant you couldn't allow the side effects oh, so that right. is fascinating okay. yeah why can't we think more that pregnancy is a risk for men as well do, do you, know, if you do don't you... want if you don't want to have a baby but when you look at risk and I remember when I when I went into the doctor or the sexual health clinic one or the other to ask about going on the pill when I was in my 20s they talked to you about about the risks of you taking the mm. pill but you know when they do run down the list and it's a bit like when you're a young girl or any woman who doesn't want to get pregnant at that yeah. particular moment That's in time all, yeah. it's like mm. but I won't be able to get pregnant so yeah. I'll deal with those yeah, risks absolutely. because actually having yeah. a baby is a high risk for is me. a much bigger absolutely. side effect yeah do you know that, yeah. was one, that was one of the things for me I had the pill for some years when I was younger but then because of my family history with blood clots and high blood pressure I came off it but my adult age, well, adult, as I got a bit older, over 25, 30, there was two big periods in my life where I went celibate. Um, one, to detox from the ex, <laughs> and two, because <laughs> I wanted to have a moment without oh, anything yeah, in my body. Yeah. And then, obviously, then, you know, going on the call. And it really does, it makes you think. And I worry I've got a daughter, so I think to myself, I still hear them talk about stuff and contraception and so on, but I think that they still are yeah. very much about the pill. Yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. Really and, 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 and education is is, is key, really. Mm. And and do make sure if any of you guys are thinking about going on any kind of contraceptive um, device or pill or what have you, then make sure you do talk to your doctor or go to your nearest sexual health clinic.